Hello, my pretties. Welcome back to Potato Craft. Are you scared? No. You knew it was me, right? My bad. I'm sorry. I was trying to be scary, but I'm not very scary. Anyways, today we start our swamp arc. That's right. We have a swamp arc. I went ahead and found this swamp. I believe we might have flown over it before. But there's a few things I want to do in this swamp. The first thing starting with this spruce platform I am standing on. Which is actually a witch hut. That's right. I want redstone, I want glowstone, and I don't want to have to work for it. So I'm going to build a witch farm. Um, there's another thing I want to do in this swamp, but we'll get to that later or in part two of our swamp arc. We'll see. But the first thing I have to do is cut down a lot of trees and dig a lot of dirt. So let's do that now. So I cleared out the area and I dug a hole. Now all I have to do is replace the witch hut with a witch farm. I think I have everything I need. I think, I hope, we build anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and build up the witch farm and then we can take a look at it. farm is done it's pretty simple design I designed it myself you know with elements based off of you know a million other popular farms out there I think witch farms have become pretty standardized these days it's three platforms in the bounding box of the witch hut uh, with water that pushes them over you know um, this is string based so it's just a network of string here and when you land anywhere in this box pushes you over the edge there water streams going down and in the center there is 24 mine carts stacked together and on top of a hopper so when the witches fall in they land in there and die pretty quickly from entity cramming um, that's all it is just simple mechanism so personally I find it pretty difficult to make a witch farm look good and normally I just put them out in the swamp and they're just a you know ugly witch farm that's just there for utility reasons I only go there when I need to use it um, but since I want to do a couple of things out in the swamp and there might be one or two of you that are actually watching this video then I decided I should probably do something with it uh, with the actual witch farm, I wanted to go completely bare bones and only have the necessary blocks that make it a witch farm. And that's it. And then I wanted to make it all out of glass, or as much as I could out of glass, just to help with the spawn rates a little bit. Um, but this is just the inside of the farm. This is just the actual farm. So I felt the need to like actually put something over it besides just a roof to block out the light which would just be ugly so I'm gonna go ahead and build something over it 
It's not going to be spectacular. It's not going to be pretty. But it might be interesting. Who knows? What in the world is that? It just appeared here one day. Probably came from the stars. Spooky. Just kidding. But it's done. I'm done. It's did. We done did it. We built a box. The box is kind of inspired by uh, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey where in that movie they have a solid black monolith that kind of appears in like prehistoric times and like it's mysterious and it kind of triggers the rest of the movie. That's kind of what I imagine this kind of be a kind of like appeared here in the middle of the swamp no one knows what it is or what it's doing but ultimately it's just a black box with some weird symbols on it who knows but we do have this hole here that's kind of hidden in the dirt and we go down here and we got a little room yeah and I AFK'd a little bit while I ate dinner. Not very long. But it works. We're getting some drops. I'll AFK overnight. See how many we get. Should be a good amount. I don't think it'll fill up these chests or anything. But it's pretty good. So if we go back here. This is where the farm is. As you can see. There's about seven spots in it that are not spawnable because of the red light torches right there. Light up three spots on each platform and the light coming in through the hoppers here lights up one spot on the bottom platform so there's seven spots. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. It's a single player world so we'll get enough drops AFKing on this that we don't ever have to worry about it being not a hundred percent efficient actually let's go back here again all it is is you know you got the 24 minecarts there that kill the witches hopper line underneath that just goes into some item sorters into chests and a garbage can on the end to get rid of any overflow of probably sticks and bottles is what will probably overflow the most. So in the next episode we will continue our swamp arc. We have about two more things in the swamp arc and then we'll move on to something else. So I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do next episode, but until then, have fun!